Good Time Crew and future Good Time Crewers. Before we start this video, we just want to say, don't forget to subscribe. Follow us and check us out on Instagram. Connect with us, you know, do all that good stuff. And roll the intro. Hi. Bam. Hey, crew. Oh, really, guys? Thank you for being here. Yeah, guys. You guys are the crew members. You guys are the crew members. Man, live it up in here, dude. Come on! <laughs> we do with the accent from, from Jersey. Come on! All right. We got my family guy out here with the Kool-Aid man. You guys, of all the Family Guy episodes that exist, I don't think I've ever, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the Kool-Aid Man in any of them. <laughs> I've seen the Kool-Aid Man, but. Now we're all gonna see the Kool-Aid Man. Now we're gonna see the Kool-Aid Man in other humor. So, without further ado, we present you, Family Guy. <laughs> ah, my morning scream. <sighs> ah, Heather's gone! Mom? Is Brian gonna be okay? I don't know, Meg, but this is the best veterinarian in Quahog. Brian's getting the finest care there is. He had to share the ambulance with a chicken. Um, aren't you supposed to be running around? Don't talk to me. Oh you gosh. have a bad reputation in the chicken community. It's not all bad. I like having those uh, Stelladoro breakfast cookies. Oh, I ate those, sorry. Ah, oh, no problem, Brian, no problem at all. Hey, what do you say you and I do a little fishing? Oh. There's no school today. <laughs> there was another mass stoning. Uh, another school stoning. When will we learn? If only <laughs> those teachers had stones, then they could stone back. Hello? Stone control? Sham, stones don't kill people. People kill people. people. <laughs> with stones. I don't think the founding fathers ever envisioned stones this large. And it looks like they have Stony. medical care as well. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I've done this several times today, and your husband just isn't responding. Well, have you tried this? Ma'am, this is a place of medicine. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, Rupert, here we go. Is that too big? <laughs> well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. So that is something new about Stewie. Well, then you should go talk to her and try to clear this up. It sounds weird, but maybe it was innocent. I mean, this wouldn't be the first time you thought someone was hitting on you. Would you like to add chips and a drink? Here we go again. The wind what? wants oh. my hand to go back, but I'm not letting it. I'm stronger than air. Oh my god, Dad, you lost your hand! That's all right. I can regenerate. <laughs> my name is Retep, and I am evil. Oh, what's the matter, Are you a little scared in here? Don't worry, there's no monsters. Of course there's no monsters. Or are you worried about what happened to that family down the street? Those three guys broke in, beat up the father with a croquet mallet, and then stole a baby, and nobody knows where the baby is now? Is that what you're thinking about, buddy? I am now. What? <laughs> Brian Griffin? Uh, yeah, that's me. Here you go. Oh, God! <laughs> What's in the box, Brian? <laughs> I got you good. I don't feel right. I want it back. Oh, you were with Cleveland. Oh, Until further notice, you can sleep downstairs. <sighs> oh, man. Wonder how it's going for Cleveland. Cleveland, get in here and pull your pants down. <laughs> At least turn me over to my backside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop. <gasps> Almost home. That's really lit. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Oh! Oh, All right, we gotta ew. take him down to dinner. I think he's okay oh. to travel. Ew. Oh, oh, yeah. my oh, gosh. oh my gosh. Oh, this is episode. Uh -oh. oh, a freaking crap. Can I be done? I know oh. we're not gonna do this, but at this point, I almost think we should just cut him up and flush him down the toilet. 
<laughs> oh, you got to you up and fuck some me in some places I don't wanna. Oh, you said we were going to a place Walt Disney built. No, Peter, I said supported. This was in, that was another one. I remember that being in another one. Oh yeah, you're talking about the key. You're terrible at keeping secrets. Well, I'm not. I'm great at it. Like when I was an OBGYN. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. B but we told Chris we'd be there when he wakes up from surgery. All right, we were able to fix your hernia, but you've got to stop lifting sewer hole covers. But the Ninja Turtles live down there. I'm friends with them. Hey, fat ass. I brought you flowers. Uh. Stay out of the sewers. We're trying to work down there. Thanks, Donatello. Huh. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to take him by surprise. Shouldn't be too hard. After all, I used to be a Pete in the box. This is gonna be so stupid. <laughs> I think he's throwing some of my baby. I just throw him some of that box. Bruce and Jeffrey love each other. They deserve to be happy. And so do I. Oh, Meg, don't make this day about you. Oh, Bruce. Oh, Jeffrey. Oh no 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 the Bible Oh my god to be a doctor or architect Hell you could even coach the mighty ducks Oh right the championship is on the line It's time for a formation they're not expecting The flying V? No the stinky V The what? The stinky V Wait a second Bodhi Driver quits I ain't no guy Hey, Pavlov, you dog-teasing dick! How's this for positive reinforcement? Oh. All right, Ooh, spit where to next? I want to kill more scientists! I'm still weirded out from when I walked in on that masturbating Eskimo. Dinner time, Tickaloo. Oh, my God! Doesn't anybody knock? You Dude, doing this with the it, Like Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Oh! Oh, that was easy. Oh! I know, right? Ryan to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. Hey, Lois, if I was gonna kill myself, do I slit my wrists this way or this way? Sideways for attention, long way for results. Meg is right. Okay, I'll be in the garage. Hey, Dad, put that knife down. Lois, I don't have any friends, so I'm gonna kill myself and get a full page in the yearbook. Then they can't ignore me. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> oh no! Is that James with Ty? No, I'm a junior at the Meadows. It's a private school. Oh, do they do it so right at the Meadows? Class size is so small, and they really know your child. They care. Mr. Wiggins rested his thing on Jen Crosby's shoulder during a test. Yes, I'm told James Woods High leads the nation in teacher to student thing resting. Hi, Peter Griffin, sickly smoker. This is your heart. This is your heart on cigarettes. Any questions? Yeah, where'd you get that heart? What? <laughs> picture in the paper. I didn't even get that when I brought that kitten and gorilla together. Huh? Did I tell you, Lois? Oh, that's beautiful, Peter. She's taking care of that kitten like it's her own. Yep, I knew eventually she'd stop tearing him in half. And Whoa. we're here with the reactions. Sir, how does it feel to have the lake back? Well, I tell you, Tricia, as a local resident, I feel like I can once again take pride in my community. I think this is really going to revitalize tourism, and... <laughs> oh! Around, I think even the wildlife is starting to come back, and, you know, that's something we haven't seen in a while, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. I didn't see that coming. Me either. Mine's in silence. You marry Billy Joel, it's gonna happen one way or another. Wow! I haven't felt a rush like this since I won that marathon. Oh, no, <laughs> shoot. Oh, man. I'm Bob Costas, here with Boston Marathon winner Peter Griffin. Peter, how did you do it? I'll tell you, Bob, I just got in my car and drove it. And when there was a guy in my way, I killed him. During his 21-year oh. reign, this French monarch, known as the Spider King, had an ongoing feud with Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy. Peter? Sounds. Who was King Louis XII? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. We were looking for King Louis XI. Ah, oh, damn it, I knew that. Well, if that doesn't suck a big black cock. <laughs> what? Meg, I'm muted upstairs, so I'll let you finish up. Just put some blush here and here. It makes the eyes look a little less dead and hollow. 
Wow, that really works. Hmm. Maybe I'll try that on myself. Oh, uh, you have what we call a closed casket face. Wow, Stewie, we're gonna work perfectly together, <laughs> like Sherlock Holmes <laughs> and Watson. Watson, a clue. The intruder has tracked in a red clay, which can only be found near London's homosexual bathhouse. Amazing, Holmes. How did you know that? Just from, like, books and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this place gives me the creeps, like when I went to that pedophile opera. We are proud to present Mozart's The Magic Flute in A Minor. <laughs> they missed And you still won't give us an Emmy? Come on! If Modern Family did that joke, you'd be carrying them around on your shoulders. Well then. Okay. You know, I love it when they address real life stuff like that. Like, you still won't give us an Emmy? I like when they kind of get it in front of that kind of stuff. I think that's kind of cool. Can't Tuck give them breaking that third wall. Third wall, yeah. Yeah. Can't give that to them. Come on now. You know how many people would like. Start an uprising over that? They may have already won an Emmy. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows, yeah, who knows when, when that clip came out? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. They deserve it. A lot to digest there. Yeah. So the the, the Kool Aid Man, uh, he popped in. Yeah. For something very he, interesting, and then left, and then we didn't see him again. I was gonna say, like, what happened, Kool Aid Man? I thought this was gonna be a video where the like Kool Aid Man clips. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be all of the times where he jumped into his basically like all the Kool Aid Man cutaways, kind of like. I mean, it's not really that much. You know, all he does is kind of like, oh yeah. Oh well. Oh yeah. Well, the good part is there was a lot of clips in there that we hadn't seen before. See, see this is how the scene. This is how the one scene went. Okay, say oh, say say what I said. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. oh yeah. <laughs> That's how it. Really? I thought the Kool-Aid Man was going to be more exciting than that. But all the rest of the clips were funny though. Well, some of them. Some of them were a little gruesome. I was like, dang. You just yeah, like... Yeah, he up the girl with a beat. And the freaking girl driving it in like... The, the bus or oh, the truck came and, and hit her. And like, it was like in silence too. So oh it was my like gosh. A, yeah, yeah, what's happening? Yeah. I thought Lois was going to be like, that's what you get for smiling at her. Yeah. Like, you know. I try to do that in my car too. Like when I'm driving, I try to be that cool. Like looking around like, yeah. I mean, not like at other girls, just like at, right. at other people, you know right. what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like dogs, <laughs> dogs in the other car, oh, yeah, the and other I'm like, Rottweiler, look how yeah. cool I am in my car. You could be living in this house. <laughs> you could be riding over here where there's only two seats. Exactly, See? two seats. I would never put my dog in the back. It would always be in the okay. front with me. And me. Me and the dog ride together in the front. We're equally important. Well, I mean, yeah, you, you could like, you know, no. Not be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so annoying. You can, like not be there. Whatever. Or you, or you could be there. Maxie and I will go on our own adventures. If you guys didn't remember, Maxie's the cat. I know she has made an appearance lately because that's because she has too much more uh, room in this place. And the other place, yeah. we were all kind of in the same room. Um, yeah, we always <laughs> hung out in the living room. That's where we put our bed. She, uh, well, she was on the steps until I scared her because I didn't see her. We don't know where she is now. But if you stayed this long in the video, let's ask you Justin and Stacey's fame question of, question the, of day. the day. And the question of the day is, if you had one wish, what would it be? Would you chill with Justin and Stacey? If you're an R&B fan, you know what I'm singing. If you had one wish, I'm sorry. Well, you want to talk about being fired? I'm sorry, but this that is a like good... That was like the most fireable moment This is a good question. This if you had one wish, what would it be and why? One wish. Number three, my lord, number three. <laughs> if you had just one wish, who would it be? <laughs> All right, so guys, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Two more satisfied customers. Just two more satisfied customers. Get yeah. out of here. Let us know what your wish would be, because uh, you know what? What would your wish be? You know what? Some people might not like this, but I think my wish would be like uh, like equal equal opportunity wealth, kind of. Mm hmm You know, like wealth distribution. Wealth kinda. distribution, like equal wealth distribution. Only, only. Now listen, don't don't blame me in the comments to people who are working hard. Now there are, because there are a lot of people yes. that are working hard trying to get ahead, whose circumstance is what it is, yeah. and they are really working hard to do better in their life. I mean, there are some people who are kind of just like looking for a handout, you know, kind of just like, eh, yeah, there's I don't feel like working, I'm gonna sit out, I'm gonna sit out and ask for money, I'm gonna tell you, 
You know what I mean? That there are people that do that and they don't have any problems. They're just lazy. Yeah. I'm not saying give money to lazy people. I'm no. saying people that are really working hard that just can't seem to get there, even the, because they just don't have the same opportunities or, yes. or whatever reason it may be, but they're actually actively working. Yes. Equal wealth distribution to them. I agree with that. I think that's a great wish. I feel like mine would be something similar to that. Like something along the lines of just people, you know, just helping people in need somehow. Like the people who are hungry all the time or people who just, I don't know, something in the lungs of help. Yeah. Like somehow the people who really just need a better life can have one. Yeah, especially I mean after this year's pandemic's been really yeah. rough on a lot of people that were working and they just lost their job. Their life yeah. just got taken from them. Seriously, they were just fine. They were just fine, yeah. So I'm thinking that's what my wish would be like, giving those people their opportunity, giving their jobs back, getting yeah. money back into the people's pockets that are actually still, you know, trying to be better. Yeah, quality now, of life. Yeah, now if you're just sitting around and you're just complaining about, what was me, life is so hard, I can't, you know, I Yeah, can't, we're not talking about those I can't people. do it, I'm gonna just ask for, you know. Because there's can't. some people, no matter how much you give them, they still don't want to work. Yeah, they don't so want to work. Or they'll piss it away if you do give them. Yeah. If you do give it to them, they just, you know, burn it, doing something crazy. Doing something that doesn't help them get ahead. So yeah. those people in the category over here in the trash, not talking about those people. Yeah. We're talking about people who really work hard and deserve it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, people that deserve people it too. deserve it. Yeah. I mean, because there's certain people out here living, you know, they're driving like three and four cars, you know, they got like a BMW, like a 350Z, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. But you know, you know what <laughs> really? I mean? Like seriously, they got, yeah. they got more cars than what they need, but there's somebody over there that's really working, that really needs a car. Yes, I would, exactly. I would give it to them. Yeah, maybe we can do a car giveaway one day. Hey, a car giveaway, what do you guys think about that? Hey, what do you guys think? Yeah. What about it? How about it? Come on. Come on. We can give away. We can give away a car. I mean, it ain't going to be like a Lambo. It might be like a, like a Nissan Altima, like a 2001. But, yeah, 2001. Yeah. Hey, listen. Might be okay. like a 99 Civic or something. But. It's going to be a car that works. We'll talk about it. We'll think about it. Yeah, why not? But let us know what you think. What's your one wish as he sang for us one wish J -Day. <laughs> we will see you next time good time crew if you get one wish you know what to do like and subscribe up in the comments follow on instagram and on twitter too i got one more line before i let you go goodbye don't forget to subscribe